president of the Nigeria Football Federation, has expressed gratitude to the government for its efforts in facilitating the return of the Nigeria football team from Libya. He highlighted the unpleasant treatment the team experienced in Libya, including being deprived of proper accommodation and food. The president made this note during a meeting with the Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs, who called on the international community to separate sports from political issues. Uh, the most unfortunate situation was that uh, we couldn't even access network, neither do we uh, attend uh, uh, internet. So we are just dumped in a hall that we don't know what is going on. And uh, we are virtually just surrounded by some security officers. And uh, we try to make effort to see how we can even go out to, to get some food that we can eat. But we are harassed and informed that uh, there is no way we can go to get out of that place. We can neither communicate to the embassy people because our earlier arrangement was for us not, was not to, to, to land in Al Abrak. So all, all necessary arrangements that we needed to do through our agents were being arranged in Benghazi, uh, uh, especially at the, in the Banina Airport, so, so on, uh, which I understand is about 240 kilometers away. Uh, so so and the dangers of following road, there's nothing those guys can do to, to come and meet us there. But uh, we also tried to make an effort to see how we can get out and see how we can move ourselves to even have something to eat, but that was not accepted by the authorities that were meant to stay and uh, put us under that hostage. Then the pilot came and met me and said, Mr. President, I said, pilot, what happened? You are back here. He said, no, we got to the hotel. They said uh, they, uh, they were given an instruction that anybody that is carrying Nigerian passports should not be accommodated. Then the pilot is, uh, is, uh, is a Tunisian and his co-pilot is from South Africa. He said, then how can I come and sleep here? I leave my uh, crew. Mm. I can't sleep here. So he said, virtually that is why they are back. But because he's a Tunisian and uh, he worked uh, in Libya for about two years as a pilot, uh, that was even one of the key reasons that uh, helped us to see that we land in Al Abrak airport safely. Because all the necessary uh, navigators and other things that were needed in an airport for such kind of landing were not at that airport. Because had it been they were not able to fall into the situation we found ourselves, we would not we even could have allowed him to, to fly us at that time that we, we left the country. I want to once again use the opportunity to, to thank you and uh, the, the government uh, of our great country, especially our leader, uh, the president, uh, President Bola Abetunobu, for, for all prayers and efforts they have put, uh, put in place to make sure that we are back home safely without anybody being hurt. But it uh, means also that we have to work closely together with uh, the NFF to ensure that whenever they're going out, uh, we're fully aware and we uh, brief them uh, properly on the uh, prevailing conditions of wherever they're going to, uh, to, uh, to play. Because, um, again, I think part of the problem was uh, some in Libya felt that there was poor treatment of uh, the, their own football team when they came to Nigeria, but that does not even apply because the whole essence of uh, sports and the sporting ethos is to take it outside of politics uh, and to ensure that the maximum level of fairness is applied.